How's she going? So today's garbage day. Doing garbage. And I put the big bucket on because uh, people like to fill the garbage cans full of leaves. I really don't know why, but they do. So we got, uh, I don't know, I've dumped oh, four or five buckets uh, garbage cans into the bucket here. So doing not too bad, but uh, we got to go uh, dump these and uh, we'll be good to go. Garbage is done. What a dreary, crappy, old, rainy, crappy day today is. So, anyways, uh, I gotta run over to uh, freaking rain. I wanna run down to uh, come on, truck, Home Depot, oh, and see if I can get another box of. Uh, Vinyl siding. Uh, the uh, I think it was color sand for my uh, my shed there. I haven't quite finished all that. I want to kind of get it that done before the the snow started going and stuff, you know, and uh, get her going again. But uh, I'll head her down to the depot and see if they even have like a whole box of it for sale there. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So. Uh, seems to take them like forever to get another another load of it in so we'll head her down see what they got and if they got a box well we'll bring them back and uh don't think i'll slap them on today slam them on today it'll be uh whenever <laughs> never ever get another nice day i guess i better put my seatbelt on too bad boy okay just on the way to the depot i think that stuff comes in 12 foot lengths now this is a 10 foot trailer I got on here, so uh, I'm gonna have to probably angle the box of stuff if they have it. <clears throat> and then that she should fit in without, you know, doing the thing up the side of the trailer or something. Anyhow, there's probably a good chance that they likely won't have it, but you never know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Oh, they have three different colors in stock here. Pardon me, uh, white, this sand color, and there's like a a greeny colored one or some sort. Paving, paving dudes here today. A little paver guy, that's so cute. Uh, yeah, so, no, my luck, they'll have lots of white and they'll have lots of this olive or whatever it was called. But no, uh, sand, sand color, which is like the sort of, not dark brownie, but brownie kind of sand color. So, uh, anyways, we are here, and I'll grab one of them flat carts, just in case. Holy cow, busy spot. Come on, bud. I can't do much with you sitting there. Where the frick do you think you're going, man? There's nowhere down there you go. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> but anyways, let's grab a parking spot. in about here somewhere. The trailer I take up too, so that's awesome. Nobody can park in front of me or behind me. And that's about it. Okay, no cameras in the Home Depot. They even tell you that on the door. So anyways, we'll see if we can get a box of sand. Box of sand. Sandbox. Sweet! Okay, we got a box without... Well, for them it was a lot of effort apparently, but anyways. Play with that in a sec, but they must be 14 foot long because that's a 10 inch or 12 foot box. <sighs> She's sideways and uh, she sideways, and they're still like two feet hanging out the side, <laughs> so she must be a big box. Holy cow! But, anyways, uh, yeah, they didn't have any down, mm -hmm. <sighs> they didn't have any down on the, on the shelf where you know the customers can access it, they had lots. You know, uh, up, uh, you know, single sheets, but you actually end up paying a little more if you buy it that way. So I like to get the, the box when I got a big quantity to do, and uh, they had some, but uh, they had it uh, way up on the rack, up high, he said. So he's like, I'll have to get the, get the forklift out, and you know, the 
get get uh, the big container or whatever. Oh, it wasn't a container. It was like a big skid all wrapped up. Big long wide skid all wrapped up with the stuff. Oh look, paving. Uh, so they uh, yeah they uh, got one down and uh, then you couldn't get the thing out because they were all wedged together and all uh, what you call it did, did uh, in the uh, shrink wrapped in onto the skid. So I helped them. We yanked one out and then off we went. But uh, funny enough, there's you know still none on the rack. But he. Uh, he uh, didn't bring any out to put back on the rack, so the next guy that comes along, he's gonna have to get that thing down again. So, should have took like, well, there was like six boxes of the stuff there. Should have uh, taken a few down and put it back underneath there, but they didn't. So, anyways, whatever. That's a lot of screwing around for them, I guess, because it's you know it's a 14 foot box and it probably weighs, I don't know, 100 pounds, 150 pounds a piece or something. It's not light, so. But. Uh, yeah, so anyways, we did get a box. 100 and... oh crap. 100 and... How much is a box of that stuff? $168 for a box. Vinyl siding. I hope that's the right one he gave me. It said sand on the box, but it says ivy on there. So I don't know, that's not good. I'll have to crack her open and see, I guess. But, uh... And match. Do a color match. But, uh, yeah, not, not too good. Ivy, I don't know what that would be. That's like the white, maybe. Didn't say white on it. It said sand on it. So, unless their sticker is wrong at the factory, that could be, I guess. But anyways, let's get her home and, uh, I don't know exactly. I'm not doing it today, obviously. You know, this crap, no thanks. It needs to be done, though. But uh, one of these days, if we get another nicer day, we'll, we'll do some vinyl sidling. sidling. And uh, we need to do some soffit and fascia on that side too, and a little bit of eaves trough perhaps. No, eaves trough isn't really that important, but it should be probably done. But that's uh, definitely an our day for that. So, let's go check and make sure we uh, got what we're expecting here. It does actually make sense, uh, 14 foot lengths. My shed 16, and I know I did a whole long sheet, and uh, whole long sheet and then I had to cut some 24 inch lengths to make her work so that's kind of crazy. I wish they were either I built my shed 14 which would have socked because the more the better I think or if they had 16 foot lengths or 20 foot lengths but that's probably too crazy long then. so but anyways uh, holy traffic jam in here what the frick's going on man anyways let's get her backed in as close as I can down to the shed there and we'll just make sure we got what we are kind of expecting to get here. Hopefully we got what we are expecting to get. All right, well, we made her. So there's a piece of, uh, thing ripped open on me on the way down. There's a piece of the uh, J channel, I think they call that. That's the sand, and then we'll grab a stick of sand out here. Yeah, that looks pretty close. It's actually darkened a little bit. Well, it's actually probably dirt, but uh, yeah, I think we're good. That's good. She'll all match nice. Then. Sweet. Now that's actually shoved in the length of the wall. So yeah, there's another. Well, not quite, but um, yeah, it's another two feet anyway. So yeah, I gotta cut some of these, which kind of sucks, but uh, that's all right. So that's the stuff there. The sand. So I got this side it's already done, of course. This side's done, of course. And I just got to finish the. Basically, I'm 50% done. And I think actually that was about. All this was about three boxes, but the other side's not as high, so it's not going to need as quite as much. But yeah, we got to do this side wrapper, put some wrap on it, and then the other the other side needs done too. So lots of work yet. And. Uh, a meat straw or something up there might be not a bad idea. And uh, we'll be good to go. I kind of wanted to kind of dig this out a bit. You can see where the drip line is there. Dig that right out and then fill it with gravel. Because all underneath of this is all gravel. So there's about 12 inches of gravel sitting that this thing's sitting on. So there's lots of good drainage. Lots of good drainage. But uh, yeah, that's a job for another day. Well, I guess the only other thing I can do really today Rainy and crappy out here. Let's uh, go mount our dewy on the on the new tractor. So 
let's go mount the Dewey. Ah, so the old really bad shape van got a got an idea for it. And a really good idea. I think you guys are really gonna love it. And uh, just give you one clue, uh, when we're all done, there's uh, probably not gonna be very much left. Yes, you will see. When exactly, I don't know, so don't uh, count on it like for tomorrow or something. But uh, you'll enjoy her, I think. She's gonna get wrecked really good. <laughs> but anyways, let's head her down the garage and put on this uh, uh, speed handle turn knobby thingy. All right, well, let's install this uh, spinner, Dewey. Uh, now it's in one of them, uh, whatchamacallit packages where you can't open it. It's kind of silly, but uh, I'll try my best here to bust her apart. Might have to break out the sword. Maybe, perhaps. Oh! I'm gonna get up here now. These things doesn't seem to matter where you mount them because the steering wheel doesn't ever lock to a certain position. If you know what I mean, like it, it'll be it'll change all the time. So sometimes I've even noticed when I'm mowing, you know, I'm going like this, and then all of a sudden it ends up here, so it's not really comfortable. So I'll have to hold it like this for a while, and then all of a sudden I got it back, and it's down <laughs> comfortable. It's really weird. I guess because of the hydraulic or something in it. I don't I don't really know. So. Uh, So my uh, concrete guys were in today for, I think, the last time for this year. They had, uh, well, they, the last time was actually the other day, but then uh, they got uh, one more come come in. Okay, now i got to get this tool out of here. Oh, he's jumping. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let's see if I can demonstrate after if it, if it's going to do it. Maybe it's something they fixed, but uh, usually after you drive it, it doesn't end up in the same spot. So when you're say at zero, going straight ahead. Sometimes it'll be over here, other times it'll, you know, it's, it never seems to stay the same. So, it's kind of weird, but... Okay, here's one. I'm not sure if I need to use this little rubber dewy or not. Uh, I'm just going to flip my little dewy here so I can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, it looks okay. So, I think we might need the longer screws though. Yes, I do, I do believe. Let's just try one here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, uh, maybe we do. <laughs> it's actually not the right size. I need one with a a wider dewy through the center there, but I think I'm going to get these wider screws or longer screws out anyhow. And there, yeah, they're quite a little bit wider. Stupid tape. There, get off. Come on, seriously? Get off! Stupid tape. Okay. Now let's put this guy in here. Yes, a little longer. Felt very good there. I feel like it lined up too well. Okay, 
so soon I'm going to have to decide where I'm going to want this thing to sit because if I don't and lock her down, it's got to be level, I guess you would say, because when you turn it, it, uh, it will turn like this and it won't feel right when you're turning, so we'll have to fire up here. See what I'm doing. Oh, so that's funny how that works, eh? It doesn't actually sort of go the same every time. Just tighten us a little bit each way. Baby, get in there. It'd be awesome if I could actually see what I'm doing rather than doing it by feel. What the heck? Figures. <laughs> I just get it started to drop the stupid wrench. Oh, I got horrible luck, boys. I'm telling you. Could be horrible luck or horrible skill, maybe. Okay, that looks like it's actually turned a bit on me. That's a little. So we gotta watch. It's kind of going a little cockeyed here. What the heck's going on here? There. Yeah, I don't think I want to go much tighter than that. Let's try it. strange how that works but it's the other one was like that this one's like that and uh there we go so that's her she's installed even genuine johnny deer well i had plans to uh, remove the deck today change the tires 
these fellers back on for winter even though they never come off all summer <laughs> but uh just uh i gotta kind of take it out there it's not raining hard but it's just enough it's like yeah i, I don't really need to do that today so ah uh, to heck with her we'll uh, do that in our day get the deck off and have a look underneath when it's nice and fresh and new and oh nice and fresh and new and clean but uh don't be uh won't be very long you'll see her like that so once we get that uh part of the video for you better enjoy her because that's probably all you're gonna see her is like that nice new and clean so but anyways i guess that's it for today so anyways it's rainy crappy out here i don't want to keep the camera out too long so we'll say good day and stuff i guess that's about it for today there's nothing else going to be happening now the day is shot the rain has come it's supposed to snow tonight apparently some i don't know how much but uh if it cools down anymore it won't be long <laughs> but anyways uh farm sim saturday's up hopefully for you by tomorrow i just finished her this morning here and uh it's up rendering right now as of like four o'clock today so hopefully i can get that up through the night and ready for tomorrow for the morning so anyways have a good night thanks for watching oh yeah and it's farm simulator 15 sweet but anyways have a good night we'll catch you next week